Hey, what is up guys, Matt here from Toasty Bros, and today's video is going to be straight to the point. The brand new Adobe Premiere Pro update that allows for hardware acceleration on Intel integrated GPUs is, well, insane. So much that that my older i7-6500U laptop beat my Ryzen 7 1700 in GTX 1080 desktop in a 4K render. Yeah, let's dive into the specifics, shall we? After a word from today's sponsor. Special thanks to Toshiba for sending over their XS700 portable SSD. I used this drive in this video to hold the project used to compare render times. With it being shock resistant and coming with a 3 year warranty, it makes for a great addition to any creative's portable setup. Check the link in the description down below to learn more. I've been using this thing daily with my laptop and so should you. Now before I get into my results, I would love some insight in the comment section down below about my testing methodology. This is by no means a perfect experiment. I'm not using two clean installs, so there might be some issues there. And let me know in the comment section down below if there's anything that I'm missing that really is just kind of throwing my mind off because I'm still kind of shocked that this laptop with this new update can actually render faster than my main desktop. So I have right here a Razer Blade style 2016 laptop with an Intel Core i7 6500U processor and 8 gigs of RAM. This laptop is meant to be used as an ultrabook with its 12.5 inch design and it's really good for travel and doing some work in a coffee shop. It is in no means a gaming laptop with no dedicated GPU, but does light workloads and things like Photoshop and even Premiere Pro now very well. You see, we shoot and edit all our footage in 4K on this channel, and while it's become less demanding over the years with the advancement in technology, editing 4K footage is still a bear to mess with, especially with some older hardware. This is by no means an older laptop, but I really struggle to do any sort of video editing on this laptop before the recent update. Sadly, I was unable to test this with an older version of Premiere Pro because my system automatically updated and it was really hard to switch back between versions, but you're gonna have to take my word for it on timeline performance because with this laptop, there's actually actually a good improvement, even though the hardware acceleration doesn't focus on timeline improvement, or at least to my knowledge. I still have to set the playback and pause quality to 1 4 which is about 1080p on a 4K timeline, and it allows for really smooth scrubbing and allows me to do the edits that I need to do on the go. Now the example file that you're seeing on screen is a 13 minute A-roll sequence that I'm using to test on this laptop and my main desktop. We will be rendering out using H.264 at a full 4K 45 megabits per second. Normally on my main PC, I render out using software, which allows me to use a bit rate range of 45 megabits per second all the way up to 90 for 4k video this is good for when i throw in some gameplay footage that requires more bitrate one thing to note with hardware acceleration is you are limited to a default bitrate so i decided to stick it at 45 which actually after rendering it out made me realize that it looks just as good for a roll shots and if i was going to do something like maybe some gameplay i would bump it up to about 55 or 60. so i go ahead and start the render and well Here's the breakdown. With hardware acceleration on, on the laptop, the file rendered out in 17 minutes and three seconds. Without hardware acceleration, this same laptop took over an hour to render the same timeline. That is insane. That is a crazy difference. I did try this multiple times, restarted my PC between renders, and tried to see if there was some sort of flaw with my laptop with the non-hardware accelerated version, but to my avail, these numbers were proper. They kept showing up exactly the same every single time. I then decided to test my main PC up against this laptop, and here's where the shocker comes in. Keep in mind, my PC is a Ryzen 7 1700 system overclocked to 3.8 gigahertz, 16 gigabytes of DDR4 memory in a GTX 1080, and it took 20 minutes to render the file. Now, yes, the bitrate range is a factor when comparing hardware acceleration versus software because the software allows for 45 up to 90 and the bitrate on the hardware acceleration is locked at 45. When rendering out a video on my Ryzen system, I started noticing in Task Manager, I was not paying at a 100% CPU usage when rendering out. I have Premiere Pro set to the highest priority and it still doesn't give me 100% usage. I think that has to do something with CUDA acceleration within Premiere Pro and not really allowing me to take full advantage of my CPU, but even then, an 8-core 16-thread CPU is beat out by an integrated GPU on an i7-6500 dual-core hyper-threaded processor? 
That is insane, the fact that they cannot get a Ryzen-based system to work that well. Now yes, I have learned over time after going after that high core count CPU hunt that clock speed in Premiere Pro really does make a significant difference, and Ryzen just doesn't have that up to snuff ability to use software encoding with a high enough clock speed to actually make a difference compared to an Intel CPU. But the thing is, it's still kind of sad that a 8 core 16 threaded CPU is still getting beat by this laptop. I know I keep repeating that, but the fact is, that is a ridiculous thing. It's really good for this laptop, don't get me wrong. I am very excited now that I have a 4K editing laptop, basically, that I was actually gonna sell before the end of this video, uh, because I wanted something with a dedicated GPU to get more performance in Premiere Pro. But with this new update and hardware acceleration, these old U processors that are only dual cores and hyper thread up to four cores in some use cases are actually still capable of doing some video editing at 4K. Don't get me wrong, timeline performance is still much better on my Ryzen system because I can crank it up to about half resolution or even full 4K and get much smoother scrubbing compared to this laptop. And the eight gigs of RAM on this laptop is definitely gonna get saturated with more complex projects. But the fact that this laptop can actually render out in Premiere Pro using this iGPU much faster than my main desktop really does raise some eyebrows and I'm wondering what kind of steps are going to be taken for Ryzen based systems in the future if at all any and if there should be a refocus on people who are using Premiere Pro to lean more towards higher clock speed Intel CPUs with integrated GPUs as compared to a Ryzen high core count which is a better value for the money. But I would love to know what you all think about this testing and results in the comment section down below. Comment i7 in the comment section down below if you made this far and be sure to leave a like if you like this video, dislike if you dislike this video and let me know what you think. Also if you aren't already subscribe if you enjoyed this content and follow us on social media platforms down below if you want to get more behind the scenes coverage thanks again guys for watching this video peace out